About two weeks ago, after spending 24 hours learning to speedrun Super Mario 64, I had what I thought would be a cool idea for a video. See, Mario is a very popular speedrunning game, and getting a world record in any category of it would require months, if not years of practice. But while scrolling through speedrun.com, I found something interesting. There are tons of submitted games which have leaderboards that very few people have run. This meant that I could potentially get multiple world records with not too much time having to be invested into the game. This is the story of how I got 12 contested world records in one day. So the first important thing to do was decide on a game. At first, I just picked something I thought might be ironic or funny, and so I ended up playing Avatar for the PSP, and Kung Fu Panda for the DS, and even some Ape Quest. Oh my god, I'm a god. Okay, this game's kind of fire. I don't know who was making fun of it, but it's kind of good. How do I get it back to him? Should I go closer than that? I don't think... Where the fuck did you pull that from? Well, hold on, I don't want to participate. He's cheating, clearly. Each of these had problems, though. Whether they were just too long, not contested, and therefore not fun to run, or in the case of Ape Quest, the full game couldn't even be accessed on emulator. I needed a game with short run categories, some previous runs to contest against, and obviously, the full game available. And that's when I stumbled upon Monster Trucks GBA. At first, it seems like an old pixely racing game, and it is, but it has some awesome mechanics, and it was just the right balance of difficulty. First of all, the game has aerial rotation, like Rocket League, but not to the exact same degree. Also, uniquely, avoiding ramps is often faster in this game, unlike most racing games. There's quite a few other cool gameplay mechanics that make the game special to me, but I'll get into them more later. The first record I stumbled upon and decided to try and beat was the Track 2 speedrun, essentially just completing level 2 of the game in the fastest time possible. The record currently sat at 2 minutes and 15 seconds, and there were two runs on the board at the time. At first, this seemed like an easy time to beat. But after loading up the track over and over again, and continuously resetting, I realized that maybe these world records wouldn't be as easy to achieve as I had first thought. However, perseverance prevailed, and after about 30 minutes of attempting the track 2 world record, I finally hit it, with a 2 minute and 13 second time. I had my first world record, and no intention of stopping there. From there, it was just a matter of time until my passion for the game snowballed. I had taken the world record for one track of the game's 10. Why not try and take them all? And that's exactly what I did. One after another, I beat the times left by those before me, and by the end of it, I held 10 individual track records, and the level leaderboard on speedrun.com was overrun by my name. And now, with the world record time on every individual level that the game had to offer, I realized, there's still records to beat. In fact, I hadn't even yet competed for the main category of the game, any percent. Any percent is just a full completion of the game as fast as possible, and it would seem to follow that if I could do every individual level the fastest of anyone, I could probably do them all in a row the fastest of anyone. And once again, I got to work. And just like that, a barely 49 minute time would net me yet another world record. When combining the 10 tracks I now held a record for, the any percent record, and the easy percent record that I had run earlier, I now held 12 world records for one game. So what's left for Monster Trucks? Well, I plan on continuing to improve my times, but mostly I want more competition. If you liked this and thought the game seemed hype, or hated this and want to make me feel bad, come take a record from me. It'll be fun.